As you wander around the really very striking COP28 site here in Dubai, you end up bumping into not just innovators and activists and policymakers, but a fair few business people too. So why is business at a climate change gathering? It's a question I put to Harrison Lung, the Group Chief Strategy Officer for the Emirati-based multinational telecom services provider EAND. So, why is EAND here? We're here um, at COP28 because part of our core strategy is to advance the sustainability development across our entire footprint as well as across our entire business. Um, as a core part of the industry here in the UAE, which has huge aspiration in using sustainability for further investment, um, we're proud to be the principal technology partner here at COP and uh, allowing us to demonstrate many wonderful technologies um, across our mobile network, uh, across mobile financial services in the areas of financial inclusion, as well as women and gender diversity here at COP. Well, I'll come to a couple of those things in a moment, but what so specific sustainability goals does the, does the group have? Yeah. Well, within EN, last year at COP27 in Egypt, we have publicly announced scope one and scope two net zero for UAE operations by 2030. And just explain for the audience what scope one and scope two sure. mean. This is basically focusing our internal operations within EN. Now, what we have also going to soon announce is scope three uh, within the UAE, as well as our international operations. Because as you rightly know, um, EN uh, Group is not just a UAE-based company, but we currently have 15 other operating units across the Middle East, South Asia, as well as North Africa. So soon, we'll also announce a group-wide initiative and commitment um, for a net zero challenge. So as the Chief Strategy Officer, how do you embed sustainability as a goal within the overall strategy of the company? Well, I want to share maybe three things. One is sustainability is one of the core pillars of our 2030 strategy. In fact, it is what we call one of the four Ds. Mm -hmm. One of the Ds being driving sustainability, right? It's at the top level. The second is within the last year, we have embedded the sustainability, sustainability function within the group strategy function. And the reason why we did that is that we want to be very tightly integrated through a group strategy. And then thirdly is what you probably realize is sustainability is not a one man show or a one man job. There are many great initiatives that our colleagues within the UAE and abroad have been doing. So part of the role of the sustainability function is to help connect the dots of environment, some of these women and gender uh, uh, diversity initiatives, partnership with code.org, partnership with World Economic Forum, and some of these other global institutions that can really further this uh, sustainability agenda. So tell me a bit more about some of the specific projects then. You're talking about partnerships externally, you've got projects and initiatives mm -hmm. internally. Just tell me uh, how those are both interacting and how they're advancing the, uh, the, the fight for mm -hmm. sustainability. Well, first, let me share with you some of the things we're doing internally mm -hmm. within EN. On the environment side, with the help of many of our partners, we're rolling out next generation technology that is more energy efficient. Uh, and in many cases, that also utilize uh, alternative energy to sort of power uh, uh, the mobile and the fixed network. We're also leveraging AI to really understand the energy consumption and usage to further optimize it. We're upgrading our fleets to become more electric and utilize alternative energy. In fact, the building that you know, many of your colleagues have visited in al Kafaf is recently gold certified by the US Building Council. Mm -hmm. um, so these are many initiatives that we are already doing internally within EN. That being said, that is not enough. Because as you know, the greenhouse gas emission for the IC ICT sector is roughly two to 3% mm -hmm. globally. There's another 97, 98% across many sectors that is affected. These range from areas like manufacturing, supply chain, and others. So what we have done is also see this as a double win, a potential tremendous business opportunity as well. Within our EN Enterprise Unit, we have set up a unit called Sustainability as a Service, where we actually work with many large corporates, enterprises, government entities, 
to helping them go through and transform as part of the overall sustainability journey. So effectively, there's a, an internal footprint that you're reducing, but you're also enabling outside as well, and that's the handprint that you're passing on in terms of green. Why is it, you think, though, that critics look at businesses as part of the problem rather than, as you clearly are, part of the solution to the climate challenge? Yeah. I think that's an uh, excellent question. I think depending on how you look at it and the posture that these different organizations or corporations uh, make and take, it can certainly be interpreted as such. But at least for us, as I mentioned to you, we have tightly embedded this to be part of our overall strategy. We are EN, we're not EOR, we're EN. So we need to do better for our environment in regards to sustainability. We need to have the financial return to be you know, responsible for our shareholders as well. So our goal, our objective as management is to actually do both at the same time. So it's that balance between the two. Exactly. Just, just finally, we're here at COP28. You have a big presence here and you've talked about the work you're doing. How will you measure success? This is not just a two week event, mm -hmm. right? At the end of the day, beyond the two weeks, we need to ensure whatever initiatives, whatever commitments, whatever programs that is launched is tracked and measured constantly. In fact, in just a few months, we will release an integrated annual report along with our sustainability report together. And this is about in three months' time. And what we see that is an ongoing effort because the, the, the situation is evolving on a day-to-day -day basis. We see that this is an ongoing effort for us to collaborate and unite with one another um, because we all have similar challenges and for us to commit to the market of what we can deliver and track meticulously against it. So we'll see you next year at COP29 by the sounds of it. Will do. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. Thank you.